Going to all of my nice and decent people out there, to all of my viewers and subscribers, thank you very much for coming and visiting me here on Renegade Crew TV. And this episode of See That I See It, I am Daddy Super, the Renegade, and me, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I thought about the video with Megan Stallion and Cynthia and Cynthia and Megan Stallion went on her video the lick now me to go ahead and do a reaction video yesterday but the reaction video really couldn't go up and we couldn't really do a full reaction video upon it and me did go ahead and say some things about it that was my first time actually seeing the video I mean never seen the video before so I did my real reaction to it on on the spot right on i made to see the video and it, it was all right the song is all right the video did it kind of over the top till still uh, if you did get a little bit of what me they put up all right that's good you know but i really couldn't really put up exactly what me they want to put up because you know copyright infringement and all them thing there it go and i always wonder oh I can do the copyright thing and everybody else can go ahead and do the copyright thing and then go ahead and play a video on a video play and then play a certain amount of it and then I can't do that. I don't know what will happen or what them do different and but whatever. This is the thing now. Right. First of all the subject matter we shall talk about uh, one of them thing there well, you know, you know, it's only good for those people who do them thing there. Still. And uh, the imagery where she have is just her, her and Megan is telling me hear what she has said, man. Me hear what she has said, but the imagery say that is her and another woman. Now, me and nobody who I'm not someone who will go ahead and say, say me, I'm gonna fight against or stand up against or talk about against you know people who want to live an alternative lifestyle. And then with it, but you know, um, cause everybody feel live their life, and everybody feel you know, it, it's basically the pursuit of happiness is what you try to achieve in life all day, every day. You get up, and that's what you try to do. You try to live with love. You try to live um, with happiness, and not just you, but to try to pursue that for everybody else around you at the same time right and i understand that she sincere is trying to get the more international film well she kind of get international film still you know um but you know all the thing go no matter where you go no matter where you do international film is a little bit different when when you go england and you go china and you go all them places Africa, but the main main thing where everybody I try to reach to is forget the fame in America. That's what everybody want. Everybody want the fame in America. If you're acting, you want the fame in America because you want the Oscar. If you're acting and you're on doing plays, you want to get the Tony from from America. If you on TV, you want to get the Emmy. If you are the music, you want the Grammy. I saw the thing go. I saw it set. And that's what that's what's in everybody's mind, right? And not necessarily, not necessarily for go ahead and get a just get the money, the recognition for being a good artist, the recognition for bringing something new to the particular genre that you're in. So. Like Fishentia, she in a dancer, right? And I did say it before. I mean, I'm gonna say it again if you never get a chance to see it. Is the one thing me not like about it is that she never really give a dancehall style 
a docile movement, a docile feel, nothing docile to go in at that the song there. Nothing. You know, other, other than the fact that she is a she is a dancehall artist, uh, and of course, she she fling patois in at the verse, and that's it. And the looks where she give pun a verse, it was subpar. Me did say that. Me did say that before too. But at the same time, she did give her vibe still, right? Can I agree with what she had talked about? Well, you know. That's just not for me to say. That's what everybody else would say. I, I, me, I don't agree with it. But you know, art is art, and that's what I want to put. I want to protect artists to do them art, whether or not you, it's gonna make it. Whether or not you think people are gonna like it, you do it because it is what you want to do. I hear. I do have there are differences of opinion. Differences of opinion where certain individuals went they will go ahead and say no, that was not good, that was not right, she's not she's not supposed to do that, she's not supposed to do this, she's not supposed to I saw things go man. You know, you know, go ahead and critique. But you know, my thing on this, she did not bring the dance hall. I wish she would have go upon a dance hall rhythm. She would have do a dance hall thing. But she never do the dance hall thing. She left the dance hall thing for everybody else. We don't know where she what she had do or what she had think about. But the dance hall thing never come out. The dance hall thing stay right behind. We don't know where it go. But you know. She says she had represent dance hall, but she never represent dance hall. Hmm. That's, and that's all my officer about that still. You know? I mean uh Megan Stanley represent hip hop big time. Um she represented to the bomba cat fullest. You know, cause she come with the look, she come with the size, she come with the pattern, she eat it hard. Shensia could have do better, I mean no she she could have do better. And it sound like a what? Anyway, it never sound like something where Shensia would have do. You know, it didn't sound like a Shensia song. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't at all. Right? Now, I wish it, it, it was alright for the art. Uh, if she can't stand up behind it and come out and do some more things and continue to do her thing and, you know, that's good. You know? But. For right now, we think so that that was that was subpar. And if you don't believe me, go ahead and take the advice of Futa Hype.
Schön sehr. Ja, war leise gegangen. Glad you know, you're in a disappointment, and that's exactly what everybody is talking about. So, well, uh, <laughs> I wonder if Shinsia. All right, first things first, let me, let me, let me say this. I am not surprised. Zin? First things first, I am not surprised. Because if you remember, months ago, I tell you, say, she is going to get the biggest look out of dance hall because of the company where she in. You see that Kanye West launched the way she go with STR beside Marilyn Manson, I wear my name, and all of these high level giants in the music. This and no. What, what really surprised me is how can you get your big looks with these brand artists and do something like this? My granny and my mother used to have a thing where say, do not pay dear if you go in a high company. Raymond Williams, I can't tell me not say nothing. The sound, in terms of the track, the track is solid. The, the, the rhythm, solid. Me like how the bass a beat. Me never like, say she used the Calypso melody. We are dance all people. Make me, me could analyze the song first. Zin, make me analyze the song first. The beat is a fully hip hop beat. Zin, so it's not really reflecting dancehall. It's a hip hop beat. Zin, she used one calypso melody, which is not dancehall either. Zin, we. Our melodies are used the most in hip hop world. Jamaican melody use the most. A wiggy hip hop artist the most it when them sample with thing them. See Tory Lanez they one of the biggest thing. And everyone falls in love sometime melody him use and we can name one billion more song. So right there so where she use the calypso melody for sample. Is a failure to me. See? Secondly, the track is fully hip hop. The rhythm itself is fully a hip hop rhythm. See? If me go base it on our dancehall culture thing, it not do nothing for it. Because the rhythm. Rhythm is very good though. The rhythm is solid, but it reflects nothing about us. It's a hip hop rhythm that. Then the melody for the chorus is a is a calypso melody. So basically she sample the calypso song. That alone is damaging to our thing. See? Now when we go, the content of the song. Meaning the lyrical content from my scope is utter rubbish. Me not like nothing where the song I say. Me not like nothing where the song I say. This and uh, Aisha and a song, the eating song, going at the category of the two worst songs in a dance hall history for me. I don't know who else like it. But for me, are the two worst sang them there in a dance hall history. Well, in truth and in fact, them on a dance hall. Them two sang them on a dance hall. So, are the two worst sang were ever done by a dance hall artist to me, based on lyrical content and message and where the song I go. See? 
Yes, it's worse than Amari Nika mash up my life. Because the messaging of this is not good. You know how the thing go. Well, this is the end. And I want everybody to know, you know, always be yourself. Never sell your soul. Never sell your who you are. Uh, I don't mean that literally. So, until later, I want everybody to live good, be good, and goodbye. I'm Daddy Super the Renegade. Party. Check out the merch.